So a couple of days ago, I posted, this ain't gonna happen, but 200 likes and I'll tell my OnlyFans story in a video. And lo and behold, 200 people liked the video. And uh, this, this, I don't know, this, this, was, this was a hilarious story because this is the story of how I accidentally made an OnlyFans. Or I guess indirectly became a sex worker. I don't know. So let me take you all back to, I wanna say 2019. I had actually got kicked out by my cousins at my grandma's spot and I had to find a place, this place, in like two weeks and I found it, right? I moved in, came in, woo. And at this time, I was actually doing a collaborative project with Nexus and Supra, the Pokemon Triple Threat, obviously over on the other channel. And I was sitting there, you know, cutting up jokes. And the most reoccurring joke at the time was now that I'm, in my own place, now that I have like my own space and whatnot, I was going to make an OnlyFans and start doing like a fake casting couch because the, 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 the whole lore is I have a lot of, I don't know, women that throw themselves at me, which is honestly not true. Come on, I don't, do I look like that type of guy? Come on, bro. Or Anyway, this joke lasted for at least all of 2020 because of the whole COVID thing, everybody's inside. So it's like, oh, Nick, that can really have a casting couch and do like the OnlyFans, like a side thing. So we're all making jokes about it. And eventually to, to, you know, to keep the joke going, I made the OnlyFans. Now, I made the OnlyFans, it was $12. Literally, I just did it just to do it. I knew nobody was going to sign up for it. Nobody signed up for it. And I was, okay, cool, we're good. I didn't promote it. <laughs> I didn't promote it and that was the problem. So when I finally made it, this was like the middle of a collaborative project between Next and Super again and I had like posted it on Twitter. Tell me why. I posted it on Twitter, at Gucci Conti, make sure you go follow me. And I literally gained 50 signups within the first like maybe like hour and a half. I was so flabbergasted that 50 people paid $12.99 to see whatever there was in the OnlyFans. Mind you, at the time, there was nothing there. And I was so lost, I was so thrown aback. I was like, what, what just happened? What just happened here? That makes no sense to me. I was confused. And so I'm having a conversation with my friend and I remember me and her were having this conversation and she was like, yo, how's the OnlyFans thing going? Because obviously she wanted to give it a shot because of COVID. It was doing a lot of, it, you know, the, the, the Rona was making its rounds in the world and everybody was losing their jobs, losing out of money, all that stuff. And she was thinking about doing it, but she asked me, how was the OnlyFans thing? And I told her I didn't even upload anything at all. 50 people just signed up and she was blown away from it. She was like, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So you had 50 people sign up to your OnlyFans and you're not going to post penis? And I'm like, yeah. Oh, I'm out of here. Yeah. I, I, it was a joke. I didn't. And she made me feel so bad, maybe for like the next 20 to 30 minutes because of how like, you know, how how, how short money funds are for people, how blessed I am that people wanna see me, stuff like that. Basically just saying like, yo, you, that's some dickhead stuff. So I said, okay, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So I went in my phone and I found a very old dick pic from like maybe like that year prior in 2019. And I remember, I was sitting and I was like, man, this is gonna go crazy. But I was also warned that, for those who don't know, companies and brand deals don't really look at sex workers unless they are uh, sex and adult uh, companies for any type of sponsorships or brand deals. So I was sitting here and I was like, yo, you know, I don't wanna ruin my career, you know, over on the Sacred Almighty channel or on this channel potentially, just because my penis is out online. So I censored the dick pic. And I was like, okay, cool, I'ma censor it put it up on OnlyFans, and if people wanna see it, they gotta pay for more for it, because I'm not gonna sit here and lose out on money just to not make money back. You know what I'm saying? It just didn't make any sense. Plus, it was kinda weird. I'm not gonna hold you. Looking back at it in hindsight, it's kinda weird at the time, being a primarily Pokemon channel, the game centered towards kids, despite my audience being somewhere in like the late teens to like 
damn near early, late, mid 40s or whatever. I was just like, I just feel weird doing this. I don't know, it just was weird. So I never posted it on my YouTube. I never posted it on Sacred Almighty. I don't even think this channel was even around when I did this. Uh, yes, it was, yes, it was, yes, it was. But it was really, really early on. It was just a Twitter exclusive thing that I just had. And I was like, if anybody wants to see it, hey, I posted my penis uh, on the OnlyFans. It's censored though, you gotta pay for more. And tell me why. Tell me why 50 more people signed up to see the uncensored dick pic from my OnlyFans. I was so blown away. Now, out of this 100 something people, I would say maybe about like 20 to 25, maybe 30 of them were actually women. The rest of them were all like, I would say, homosexual dudes, gay dudes. Shout out to my LGBT plus. I love y'all. Thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I remember literally the money was coming in, bro. People were paying, I think I charged like 10 to $15 to get the uncensored version of this pick. And I obviously put a disclaimer like, hey, I'm charging extra for this because I could potentially lose like brand deals and stuff like that. I'm trying to make the money back, whoa, 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 whoa. And people were totally fine with that. Honestly, it was so weird. Cause like, it was so weird that like people without hesitation signed up for like, the only fans thing to see like a censored dick pic, but like nobody wants to set up on SegaDomite.com $5. It's $5 a month. Go support the boy. It's $5 a month. You want to see my penis, but not my content? What's wrong with you? I'm more than just a piece of meat. What's going on with you? I'm more than just a slab of cock. What's up? Anyway, let's just say business was booming. Out of the 50 something, out of the 100 something people that had were on the OnlyFans, I'd say literally all of them were buying that dick pic. They were buying it. So like maybe like $10, $15, I would say, plus the, the I guess the OnlyFans takes like $2 from it. So I was making $10 from the subscriptions, but then 15, maybe $10, I don't remember the, the set price from the actual dick pic. Then you had the, the, the people the 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 uh the guys that were like going crazy and they were like yo so i'm gonna pay you 300 dollars for an ass pic and i sat here and i was like no way you're lying so he sent like the little thing for it right and i was like 300 dollars for a butt pic i i turned into a girl i snip 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 post sent him three pictures for 300 i was like here you go why would I not? Why would I not? What? And he proceeded to continue to tip maybe like 10 to five, maybe five to $10, sometimes $20. And this was like multiple people. So like they were like tipping like $5, $10. And it was so weird to me because it was like, yo, like, are you serious? I would say at the end of the OnlyFans thing, because it didn't last long, I'd say that I made about maybe I would say like 1800 to $2,000 in like two weeks. In like in like maybe two weeks maybe a week and a half i don't remember because i remember like at that week mark my friends were like trying to like joke and like clown me or whatever and i obviously they were like yo you got to be careful about that because of the business stuff and i guess the business stuff uh kind of got into my head a lot and i was just like sitting there like damn i'm making a lot of money on this like only fans thing within like the first week but i don't want to jeopardize like potential brand deals because brand deals you know for those who don't know right whenever youtube ads are low whenever twitch is doing its bullshit cuts or you know that's why i said like oh go subscribe to shakeitonmoney.com for the five dollars because whenever money is low on these platforms brands they come through and they offer you a whole bunch of money to promote their stuff and i'm not gonna hold you I could really use the five to a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars extra because that's literally just goes to my rent and I'm done. But everything else is I'm just saving money for it. All I gotta do is make a two or three minute ad and I'm good, right? Or maybe a video, who knows? But I remember, like I was sitting, there, I was like, you know, I really want more brand deals and I want more things to do. I'm probably gonna have to like let this stuff go. So my friend at the time, she had, uh, I met her on Tinder, but she wanted to do an OnlyFans thing. And she was like, yo, I don't really trust anybody else that I'm sleeping with or like I'm seeing or whatever. You know, would you wanna do the OnlyFans thing with me? And I said, okay, cool. Sure, we could like, you know, do content exchanges or whatever. Cause and I'll just see where it goes from there, right? So we do maybe like three or four videos. I post them on the, on the OnlyFans or whatever. People are still, uh, people are still, obviously, you know, it's censored. So people are still like, uh, paying their five, maybe $10, $20 or whatever. They're tipping, they're doing a lot of stuff or whatever. And out of nowhere, my friend disappears on me. She's gone from the face of the planet. I'm confused. I'm like, what happened? 
What do you do? Where'd you go? She disappears for maybe about like four or five months. And I'll get to that later, right? Four or five months, she's gone, right? And maybe like a week or two later, I was like having like a, a panic. I was like, yo, what do dude only fans dudes do besides having sex? So obviously, the great content creator that I am, I went to go explore. I looked around. I was like, you know what? Let me go see what these other guys are doing in this like stratosphere, right? So I went over there in that in that side of the community or whatever right and let me tell you something the amount of masturbation videos with the with the with the sound on niggas is groaning i'm like that's what people want to see i look at the comments and it's nothing but girls and then some gay dudes in the con in like the, the icons or whatever they're going crazy over this and i'm over here like wait a minute bro Wait a minute, bro. So, so, so masturbation is key when you don't have girls to like film with. So I'm okay, cool. I start recording my little two or three nut videos. I send them out, people buy them. But then the kicker about it is though, I remember I was looking, the dudes that I was looking at have been doing this for years, right? And obviously their bodies were a lot more toned up than mine. I'm a little bit on the chubby side, of course. And those guys were a lot more fit. They were a lot more toned to the detail in their abs and that stuff, the muscles or whatever. And I'm over here like, yo, I'm just a big football player, bulky dude. I got like a little like dad gut, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I can do this. I never saw like a plus size dude doing it before. So I said, okay, cool. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. I can keep beating my dick off, whatever. That that's 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 easy. I do that anyway every other day. Why not, right? But at some point it became one of those things where it was like all the girls that I was sleeping with, maybe for the next like two or three weeks, did not want to be recorded. So obviously I'm not one of, I'm not one of those weirdos and post uh hidden camera footage and put that stuff on the only fans when these girls don't know like no like i'm not i'm not that guy to do i'm not that guy to do that i'm not i'm not i'm not built like you weirdos i'm not that guy so i said okay cool you know i don't want to record they don't want to record so i was like okay cool i'm not gonna record so obviously you know at some point it was like damn None of the girls I've been sleeping with, mind you, at this time I was going through, I mean, like, five women. You think it's all cat, but I promise you it's not. I was going through, like, five women, all protected. I was just having sex or whatever for, like, the next, like, maybe three or four weeks. They kept coming back, woo, -woo but they weren't comfortable being recorded. And at that point, I'm like, damn, bro, I don't know if I can sit here and continuously beat my dick off. You are not here. I don't know if I can do that. So I like did whatever. I actually ordered a flashlight. No cap. I ordered a flashlight because it was a recommendation from a subscriber on there. He was like, yo, you know, I know you're like you say you're dry on content. You know, get a flashlight and just go crazy on that. I actually never recorded that video. I have it in the closet somewhere. Not not in this one, but like somewhere over there. I don't know. But I just never used it to begin with. I had it to buy it. I was like, yo, no, it's it's a flashlight for content, whatever. So right off, cool. I have never, and I mean never, 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 never recorded that. And I look back, I'm like, damn, bro, I really, 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 I, I just ran out of ideas. Cause I, th I feel like for girls, it's easier to be like, you know, do the pose, go crazy, show some cleavage, go crazy, show like a little like slip or whatever, go crazy, put some lingerie on, go crazy, maybe show an ass, maybe go with the, show your cooch, whatever, right? But for the dudes, it's kind of hard because the dudes, I feel like, you know, unless you're having an insane amount of sex, which mind you, I, I was, but I wasn't, I wasn't recording them, you know what I'm saying? Then honestly, there's nothing else I can do. It. Like, there's nothing I can do as somebody who's like new to this. So I'm confused. I'm like, all right, bro. You know what? Maybe it's time to, maybe it's time to let this stuff go, bro. It's time to quit it, right? And I made about a total of $2,500 from the OnlyFans thing. And it was a really cool like experience or whatnot. I remember, and then not even about like four or five years, not years, but months later, my friend, when I disappeared on me, she came back around and she's married. She's engaged uh, to this like, uh, to this like, I guess this um, transsexual male, I think. And maybe about like maybe a year or two later, then she started opening up her OnlyFans again, but she's still with the dude. So I'm like, okay, all right, whatever, fine, right? And I haven't spoken to her since at all. And hey, honestly, I'm not gonna hold you. The experience itself was very, very interesting. So, moral of the story, I have no moral of the story. It was a very interesting experience. Would I do it again? Probably will. I probably, no, I'm not gonna hold you. I probably will. I'm not, I'm not that guy. I love sex, so like it's whatever. I have a lot of it anyway, why not? 
I, I don't think I'd mind. I don't I don't think I would mind doing it again. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. I would do it again. The pro only because though, I think the big reason why I didn't want to do it was because of the brand deal drama, right? But I haven't gotten a brand deal on this channel on sacredonmy.com in the last year and a half. And it honestly, who knows what it's for, right? That's why I've been like promoting the Sacred Almighty website. That's why I've been promoting like the Twitch or the YouTube memberships or donations recently. Like I've been literally just sitting there trying my hardest to, I don't want to say, um, what's the word? What is the word? What is the word? What am I trying to say? Trying to like get as much money to make up for the lack of brand deals because these ads are fluctuating crazy. There's one month where the ads are good. There's one month where the ads are bad. One month where the ads are amazing. Obviously the holiday season's coming soon. So who knows, right? But that's it. <laughs> hey, make sure y'all leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know how y'all feel about this story, dude. I will talk to y'all in the next one. Bye.